guys. Uh, I'm just hopping in here. This is on my computer, my laptop, so the quality is definitely different. But I'm using my phone to text Devin. I, as soon as I started filming, he messaged me to uh, from lunch at work. I was sitting here watching ER, and I just got done cleaning out our car, and Kat just left. And then I was sitting here, and I was going to, I'm about to go to Walmart to get some craft supplies. I'll talk about that in just a second. But um, I meant to film a whole lot more today for Vlogmas Day 2. But, um, ooh, our neighbor's crying, their little girl's crying. Uh, I ended up with my sister, she wanted to go with me running around, and, uh, we were so busy talking and stuff while we were in all the stores that I forgot to film anything. I filmed, like, a couple of clips, but we, um, we left early, me and Kat, because Jessie's still at my mom's. We left, we went to the, the, um, thrift store to donate that box of stuff that I dug out yesterday. And, um, we donated that, and we went up to the city where my sister lives. She lives in the county next to us. Picked her up and went to the other county, but it's in between both of us. And, uh, we went to the Dollar Tree there, because they have a huge Dollar Tree. that has a lot of stuff. Oh, I need to get this stuff. I brought some craft stuff, but it's not all craft stuff. Some of it is just stuff. Um, we went to the Dollar Tree first, and, uh, looked around. They had a lot of cool stuff there, and they've already started to Excuse me, put out some Halloween stuff, which is cool. Um, I didn't, what did I buy there? I only bought one craft thing there, but it was, it doesn't have anything to do with crochet. It's actually for scrapbooking. I got some stickers for when I scrapbook when we went to the aquarium multiple times. We've been there a lot, but they're just fish stickers. I thought they were cute, and they're, they're like, they're on those foam things, so they kind of stand out a little bit. I just thought they'd be cute with the pictures. And then I also got... <laughs> I got some Tsum Tsums. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but they're little Disney collectible things. They have little hard ones, which I have a bunch of those, and then they happen to have these ones there. And at Walmart, these are like $5, and there they were dollars because it's Dollar Tree. So I got a little Corella DeVille. There, let's see here. That lot's really... There you go. Corella DeVille. Peter Pan. Captain Hook. <laughs> I love Peter Pan, the old cartoon. Tinkerbell. He got little wings. And I can't remember his name. The alligator. I forgot his name. Off of Peter Pan. I got all the Peter Pan characters and Corella. My sister got a Corella and two of the Dalmatians because she loves them too. But that's all I picked up. No, it's not. I lied. Um. The last thing I got at Dollar Tree was this. This is for spices in a cabinet, but it's too wide this way, too long, I guess, for our cabinets. So I'm going to have to find someone to use for this, maybe um, in my craft area or something. or something. Sorry to throw away the label, but I'll figure something out for it. Then after we left the Dollar Tree, we went to Hobby Lobby next, of course. Because <laughs> it's the city that we live next to that has the Hobby Lobby. Um... And, uh, I went to look at their clearance stuff, because they have a, they had a lot of stuff marked down 90% off. Most of it was gone, but I didn't get one thing. Um, and I also needed some more star-shaped buttons for my, uh, patriotic wreath. And they did restock those, so I got two more packs of those. And I got a couple things that was on clearance. Um, they didn't have any clearance material that I liked. And, um, they don't really have a lot of pop culture and movie, you know, movie-themed and stuff material there so me and Devin are planning on going to Nashville on uh, Sunday because he has to work Saturday to go to Guitar Center because he likes going and you know playing with all the guitars and stuff and seeing which one he wants to buy because he'll be buying one in a few weeks and uh, then I'm gonna go to Joanne's <laughs> because I love Joanne's. Joanne's is I think it's Joanne's is my favorite craft store that's a big chain one but I bought two more of the I don't know how good you can see them star buttons for my wreath you will see oh, yeah, it's a wreath. <laughs> You'll see it done soon because I'm actually I'm thinking about sewing those on tonight. And then I got these. Uh, all the strung beads and tubed beads were 50% off. So I got these ones to make my own stitch markers with because me and Devin love tie dye, like hippie stuff. And his dad he always calls us the hippies because I guess the way we act. But uh, they were only $2.99, so half off of that. You know, that's really cheap for uh, this many stitch markers. And these are glass. I just thought they were really cute tie-dyed swirls. My bank card actually has like a similar design on it. 
And then I got these ones to make stitch markers for uh, my Etsy shop. So they'll be up soon. Uh, and they're little donuts. I've never seen these beads before. I wish the camera was better, but and that lighting is horrible. They're little donuts. I thought they were adorable. So I'm going to put these. I'll probably put two sets of three in my Etsy shop soon. I'll definitely do it this month so that it'll be part of the sale. Because that sale is going on all August if you're interested in bags or stitch markers or notion pouches. Check them out. And I will be adding more stuff randomly throughout the month just as I uh, get more supplies. At Hobby Lobby, uh, in the clearance section, all the spring themed things were on sale. And most of it was gone or broken. I hate how they try to sell broken stuff there. I don't know why they do that. But um, I was digging through looking for some cute stuff to get. And there were a lot of things that I wanted. But I just didn't want to spend, you know, unnecessary money right now on stuff that I can't even use to next year. Like they had uh, things that you stick in like your ground by your sidewalk that look like little cactus. This cacti. <laughs> They're really cute. And I would have bought them if they were like closer to summer again because summer's about to end. You know. Well, we still got like two months of summer, but you know what I mean. But I did find a really cool little shelf because we have that shelf. And another one right here, you've probably seen. We got both of those shelves. They're they're actually match, but we got them at two separate times at two different thrift stores. Uh, and what's on them is little toys that David and I find at thrift stores that are from like our childhood. They're nostalgic toys. Like we have, I have a bunch of Disney toys and Scooby Doo toys, and he has Power Rangers, and we have Ninja Turtle toys. And Beanie Babies, Rugrat toys, any kind of old toys that we remember when we were kids, like getting that Burger King and stuff, we, we grab it, because that dollar, dollar store, at our thrift stores, there's like a big bin of these random toys, and you fill up a bag, a big, like a gallon bag, for a dollar, so we always get stuff for Jesse, cars and stuff, because he loves cars, and uh, then we get these little toys for ourselves, and one day I hit the jackpot with Kat, because they had little squishums, and we got her like 40 squishums, and those things are like, seven or eight dollars for a pack of like three and she got that many for a buck plus I got a bunch of stuff that day I love getting like Tsum Tsums and stuff I love these little Tsum Tsums but uh anyways I got another shelf and this one is so cute it was originally $34.99 and so it was 90% off so it came to $3.50 I think yeah they rounded it up but it is da, 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 it's a cloud <laughs> it is a little scuffy on the top but I mean, all you gotta do is paint it or just leave it. I don't even care. But it's a cloud. I don't know where I'm gonna hang it yet, but maybe in my bathroom. It might be cute in there and put stuff on it. And I could even, if I didn't put it in the bathroom, if I put it somewhere else, I could put like soft things up here that it wouldn't matter if they were to fall off. It wouldn't matter. It's so cute. But yeah, I wish there had been more. I'd have bought a whole bunch of them. But it just, it's just a shelf. It has these little things on the back to hang it up with. I thought it was so cute. I can't believe it was $34. I would never pay $34 for this normally. <laughs> it's cute, but it's not that cute. But $350, I will buy it. Yeah, I think that's everything that I bought today. Other than food. I did go grocery shopping, but there was a little tiny clip of that. I couldn't film at Walmart because um, it's the 2nd of August, so there was, it was full. It's always full at the beginning of the month because of people who get their checks and stuff. And plus, it's Thursday, and around here, almost everybody gets paid on Thursday. Um... What did we do? After we left Hobby Lobby, we, I got gas because I was on empty. <laughs> I'm real bad at letting the car run out almost before filling it up. I'm trying to get better at filling it up like at the halfway point. But um, we got gas. We went into their Walmart and I looked to see if they had any material on sale or just the ends and bits that they sell for real cheap. They didn't. They did, however. Our Walmart has clearance yarn but doesn't have any new yarn yet. Their Walmart didn't have any clearance yarn. <laughs> But they had a bunch of new ones. They had all the Red Heart Ombres, which is new for them. They had Mandala Sparkle. They had um, a Premier Yarn. I didn't even know Walmart sold. I thought that was like an exclusive to Michaels, I think. And uh, they had Mandala Baby. They had Pipsqueak, Brunette Pipsqueak. And something else. Some new Karen, but I can't remember what it was. But I was going through there. Me and Kat were both going through there squishing it and stuff. And I never had, uh, have, had like, held and felt the Mandala Sparkle. But I didn't really like it. Because you could really feel the sparkle in it. The Stellina, I think it's called. It was, like, really rough. And I couldn't imagine, like, having that. It would totally irritate my skin if I wore something like that. So, 
So I don't know if I'll ever buy any of that. But the Mandela Baby was really nice, and the Pipsqueak. I've had Pipsqueak before because it used to be in a bowl. And they actually, I thought they discontinued it, but I guess they're bringing it back in cake form, hoping that it will sell. I feel like my eyebrows jacked up today. <laughs> Not that I care about the way my eyebrows look, <laughs> but um, I feel like it's really pointy right here. <laughs> but um, we left their Walmart. I didn't buy anything there. That was an accomplishment. Um, then we left that town. We came back to my city, and we went to our thrift store. Which is it's called Serenity. It's a it's a Christian thrift store. Like it's a ministry and all their money, it's nonprofit or whatever. Um, I love it though because the prices are really cheap and stuff. Uh, I don't think I oh I did buy something there. Can you see it right there? It's like a tricycle with a handle on it. I thought Jesse would like that and like, we could push him around. Although the handle is really low, I don't know if there's a way to fix that, but um, I'm gonna try to fix it. I thought he'd like. And I also bought a bag of those toys for Kat. She picked out a bunch of them. I think she took them with her, though. Uh, and then we went and got some KFC. <laughs> and we came home and ate. And after a little while hanging out here, we watched some ER and stuff. And then we went and took my sister home. And me and Kat went grocery shopping. That's when the grocery shopping clip was. <laughs> and uh, then we came home. Yeah. And I've pretty much been sitting here. Well, not sitting here, but. I put up all the groceries, we ate, uh, Kat played the game for a little while, the Xbox, uh, and I went out to clean the car and take out the garbage, and that's when Kat got picked up, and then I sat here, and I'm talking to you. <laughs> I think that's everything. Like I said, I'm, I'm thinking about going to Walmart again here in a minute to get some things. I need to get some ribbon, some mailers, and some wreath forms, if they have them. It's kind of hard to find them here. I guess a lot of people make wreaths here. Because they're almost always sold out of the foam ones. Because I don't like the metal ones that much. Um, I might go get some Pokeballs. <laughs> I wish Kat was still here. Because we could go look for rocks. But she went home. She's got to register for school tomorrow. So she'll be here tomorrow and Monday. And then I won't have her no more until Christmas break. And um, I hope it snows this year. So that we can sled and stuff. And play in the snow. <laughs> but um, I have to go pick Devin up. I kept the car. So that I could run errands. I have to go pick Devin up later. And then tomorrow. I probably will be at home all day. In the vlogs. In the vlog. Because my mom's going to borrow our car. To do some errands. And uh, so. I'll be here. Pretty much the whole time. <laughs> but um, I'm sure I'll get some interesting clips. Of me and Jesse playing. So um, I miss the little boy. Every time he's gone I miss him. <laughs> when he's here I'm like. Oh I need a break. But when he's gone I'm like. Oh I miss him. <laughs> Especially if I'm watching TV and there's like a kid around his age on there. I'm like, I miss my baby. Yeah, so I think that's everything. Um, I will try to come in later and film. I didn't even film like an outro last night. Because I wasn't expecting to um, to not film anymore. If that makes any sense. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here for right now. And I will see you guys in a later clip. I'm back from Walmart again. <laughs> I went ahead and went after Devin went back in from his lunch. It was daylight when I went in there and it was dark when I came out. Uh, it was almost 8 o'clock when I went in and then I got out. I just walked home. It's 8.30. So I was only in there for 30 minutes. It's not bad. Uh, I got a bunch of craft stuff. I got the things that I went for and I got a couple extra things because their clearance, some of their clearance things was marked down again. <laughs> and um, then I got some other things that's not crafty. I guess I can show you the non-crafty things first. Just if you're interested. What is this called? Body wash for Devin. It smells really good. Mm, this is a new one. <laughs> I also got this in the clearance section. It's a card game called Skippo. It's really fun. I don't know if you ever played it, but it's all fun. And it was only $4.50, which is cool because it's normally like $9. That's everything non crafty I got. Um, one of the reasons I originally went there was to get some mailers for stitch markers and bags. And I use these paper ones with the bubble in them. Just because they're, they're cost effective. <laughs> and um, I feel like they're safer than just those paper ones. Because I do have the padding in them. But I went ahead and got like the jumbo packs of them. Just so I have some on hand. So I got the 10 count of the little ones. These are the ones that I send stitch markers in. Because I can put stitch. I always wrap my stitch markers when they're in this. In tissue paper. Just so that they have even more 
protection. And then the card fits in here. I knew he would text as soon as I started filming. That's why I started on the phone. Or on the cam. Oh, computer. <laughs> and there he was texting. Um, oh, he's just telling me he's on break yet. Because I asked him if he's on break. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So there's 10 of these in here. I gotta open that up. Because I gotta send some chicken off. Saturday. They're little. Normally I like to ship the next day. And, but I got orders yesterday, Wednesday, the first day on my sale. And uh, today I've been so busy I couldn't go to the post office. And tomorrow my mom's borrowing my car. So they won't get shipped till Saturday morning. But everything will get shipped Saturday morning except, um, oh gosh. I think Angela, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. But I think Angela ordered some stitch markers. But she doesn't want me to ship them just yet. Because she's going to be out of town. I always burp when I film. <laughs> Anyways. And I got some of the big ones. I just hit myself in the head. Um, these are the ones I put bags in. I can fit two bags in here comfortably. But if anyone ever orders more than two bags, I'll probably have to send them multiple ones or just go get a, um, a priority box thingy <laughs> and uh, send it off. But this has ha this has twelve in it, and these are each about five dollars or like four or something. So I think that's pretty good for the um, the amount that you get. And then I did get two wreath forms, 12 inch ones. I need two 12 inch, one 16 inch, and I need another one, but I'm not sure how big it is. I emailed the um, pattern designer to ask her before I bought the pattern because I'm not sure how big the, uh, the form is you need. And I really like the pattern, but I don't know if I'm gonna buy it yet because I'm not sure if it's in English because her, her Etsy page is in English, but all of the comments and all, all of her replies are in another language. So I want to make sure that the pattern is in English before I buy it. Um, so I'm waiting for her to, to uh, respond to me. So I did get two of these. One of these is for my Halloween bat wreath. And the other one is for um, a Thanksgiving or a fall wreath that I'm going to be making. Fall Thanksgiving wreath. Hopefully for the fair. I may go ahead and make it anyways just to hang around my house. Then I also got two things of white ribbon. I needed white ribbon I was out. And now this is clearance stuff. You see some of it sitting here. But um, on the yarn aisle, I uh, I forgot to clip it. I meant to take a clip of it, but there was people on the aisle. And I didn't want to accidentally film them. But uh, they still had all the same markdown. Some of it was gone. And up on the top where they put the stuff that's not technically stocked yet, it's like their overfill. Um, I could see some of the new yarns up there. And it looks like Mainstays has a variegated yarn coming out. Um, it was up there. I could see it. <laughs> And it was really variegated. It wasn't self-striping at all. It was just little short color changes, but it was pretty. So I hope that they stock that same so I can get some. But then I went to the normal clearance section, which at our Walmart is back by the garden center, um, just to look. And that's where I got the uh, Skippo. And I always like go back down and look at toys and stuff to see if there's any little cheap like car I can get Jesse because he loves cars. But I found some yarn and some thread. Um, so for $2 each, I got two of these scrubby yarns. I've never tried these. I got a purple and a pink. I guess they're just called purple and pink. Bubble gum and grape. <laughs> um, it's really dark purple. I don't know if the colors, they're not coming out right. And a really pretty pink, like a fuchsia almost. Uh, scrubby yarn. It's just red heart scrubby. I don't, I've never used it, so I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Worsted. Uh, I don't know what it's. Is 100 percent polyester, and I got these colors. They had black, pink, purple, and another color I can't remember. But I got purple and pink because I have some purple cotton, and I think I have a pink ball of cotton that I thought I could, you know, hold together with these to make um, dishcloths with scrubby stuff with it, just to try it. I mean, it was on clearance, and I've not used it, so I thought I'd grab some and try it. And then this, you can see it sitting here is cotton thread, um, cotton thread, crochet thread. And by the way, um, some of the people that were on the aisle were looking at these because they had an older lady in a wheelchair that was looking for some kind of thread. And she had a little boy with her, I guess her grandson. And he looked like he was like maybe eight or nine. And he picked up one of these, not this clearance one, but one of the normal ones there. And he picked it up because I guess he saw the word thread. And he said, oh, whatever her name is, I can't remember. Um. Here's some crotchet thread. <laughs> it's so funny the way he said it. He said crotchet thread. But anyways, I got, these were on the normal clearance section, not over where the yarn was. So I was pretty happy to see them because I've been wanting to try thread to make Christmas ornaments with. 
Uh, I gotta get some little tiny hooks because I don't have any tiny ones. But I got three Red Heart um, Classic Crochet Thread in burgundy. It is cotton too, it says right there. I didn't know. I've never used it before. But it says 100% cotton, 300 yards in each of these. Uh, I guess that's about everything. It's called burgundy. I already said that. So I got three of the burgundy ones. And then I got this little black one called Fashion Crochet Thread. I don't know what the difference is between Classic Crochet Thread and Fashion Crochet Thread. It's also 100% mercenized cotton. And it is 125 yards. It's black. It's just called black. And then I got two of these ones. Are oh, these are Bernat? Or Bernat? Is it Bernat or Bernat? I guess it depends on where you're from. I've always called it Bernat. But a lot of like the people from the UK when they're in they're in their podcast they say Bernay. They don't pronounce the T. So I don't know. <laughs> but it's Bernat Bernay, Bernat. <laughs> Handicrafter cotton thread. It says it's a size five, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. Uh three hundred and seventy one yards each, hundred percent acrylic. So I got two of those. They were did I already say this? They were, were all a dollar each. That's why I grabbed all. And the last one I got was another classic crochet thread. Size 10. <laughs> oh, I heard that. Size 10 crochet thread. So I guess size 5 is thicker. Um, 300 yards, and it is mint green. You cannot see it at all. Kind of up there. But it's a really pretty mint color. Um, I've been wanting to get crochet thread for a while to practice, because there are some Christmas ornaments that you take like a Christmas bauble and you crochet over them. And I wanted to try to make some of those. I actually wanted to try to make one for the fair. Because I made that Santa uh, head, but I'm just not happy with him. Uh, I don't think that he, I mean, he's cute, and I will totally use him on my tree, but I don't think he's fair material. Because I remember last year, the ornaments that won were um, crochet over a bobble or beaded ones. So I thought I would, could use this um, burgundy, or even the black or the green, if I use like a white bobble and crochet over it. But I have to get some little tiny hooks, because I don't have any. I don't know if you need little tiny hooks though. See, I'm ignorant towards it. I don't know. Yeah, this is a 1.5 millimeter. That's, that's pretty small. This other one had a bigger one on it though. One of them did. This one. This is a 3.5. I have a 3.5. This one. one75 millimeter. See, I don't have the little tiny hooks. And this is the same. So I could use the black. I mean, I guess I could use any of it. It's just the holes would be bigger. Um, but they do have little tiny hooks. But I would want Susan Bates ones. Because I can't hardly use boy ones anymore. But yeah, that's just my little Walmart haul. Um, I probably shouldn't have bought everything that I bought. I kind of felt bad when I saw the total. I was like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But I needed the mailers and the wreath forms and the ribbon. The only thing that was extra was these yarns. And that was 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 dollars. For that much thread and yarn, and then the skippo. But me and Devin will love this. So he won't mind that about that at all. He won't mind that about the yarn either, because he's an enabler. But yeah, that's my little Walmart haul. Now that it is, what time is it? It is 8:41 my time. Uh, I have to go pick up Devin. He turns out he doesn't have to work over. He had a guy cover for him. He's gonna work over tomorrow or not, so that I don't have to get up at two to go get him. Because uh, if he works over, he gets up at 2:45 in the morning. So, he got someone to cover for him, so he's getting off at normal time. So, I just have to leave home at 10 to get there before 10.45. Uh, which is when he gets off, normally. <laughs> Not that you needed to know that, but now you do. He works second shift. So, I'm going to put all this stuff up and clean up mine and Kat's mess from earlier. Uh, we kind of vegged out and watched TV and stuff and didn't really clean up after ourselves. And, um... Then I'm going to sit down and probably eat some peanuts, because that's one of my favorite snacks, it's peanuts, <laughs> in the shell with the salt on them, it has to have salt. And watch probably an episode or two at ER before I have to run and get him. This may be the last clip for him tonight, I'm not sure. I guess you will know in a few moments when I quit talking. But, um, yeah, I guess that's everything. So if this is the last clip, I will see you tomorrow in Vlogmas Day. Vlogmas, I said Vlogmas, I said it earlier too. Vlogist. Vlog. August, August. My head is so Christmas right now. Even cats getting on to me because I'm t constantly talking about Christmas. And you will see a lot of it after the fair is over. 
a lot of my crochet projects are going to be Halloween and Christmas because I want to make a bunch more decorations. And again, this year I want to make Christmas ornaments for all my family. And I got to make some Christmas ornaments for the Christmas ornament swap. I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I think that's everything for now. So I will see you guys in the next video if this is the end. I may throw another clip in here in a minute. I don't know. We shall see.